he put us in a very dangerous position, the things that he says. It could compromise our democracy. You know, we saw what happened on January 6th, but, you know, something worse could even happen. My name's Ted. I live in Pennsylvania. I voted for Trump in 2016 and 2020, but I changed my opinion of him after the election hoax. I served in the military in two different branches, and I served to preserve our democracy. But I see that, you know, his false claims of the voter fraud are just compromising our democracy. If we can't trust him with being honest about the voting, then how are we going to trust him to lead our country? Is he going to get us involved in some wars that we don't want to get involved in? That's why I will not be voting for Trump this year. I'll probably be voting for Biden if that's who I have, only because he's probably the lesser of two evils. I'm Christian, but I'm not uh, your mainline Christian. I'm, I'm a Calvinist. But, you know, you could tell the character of a man, you know, if he's Christian or not, just by the things that he does. So my whole family thinks he's the Messiah. That's very dangerous ground, at least when you're talking about Christianity. So we only have one savior. Hopefully uh, a lot of you out there listen and search your heart and make the right decision this this November. He put us in a very dangerous position, the one things that he says, it could compromise our democracy. You know, we saw what happened on January 6th, but, you know, something worse could even happen. So I just leave you with that thought. Think about what you're doing because it matters.